Hello everyone, Lindy here. It's time for Rolodex card 101, but first I have to show you I got some wonderful happy mail. This is from Irene again. Thank you, Irene. You are so kind. She sent me some sheets. Um, these are like protective sheets, but in them there is like the drywall um, tape for um, texture, isn't it? And she has two kinds. Now, I, it's funny because I had just gone and bought some of this. Well, it's kind of like that. I bought this one, and I don't know if this is the right one or not. But, Irene, if you would like me to send some of this one, I think this is different. A little different than the one you sent me. Yeah, this is a little bit bigger than this white one. And then this gray one is really neat, too. So. I'll have to look for that one too. They're very cool. They're self, they stick. So Irene sent me that and she sent in this cute little clip this bunny. It's so adorable. And then in here some ABC tape. It's funny because I used to have that on all my students' desk. <laughs> That's really cute. Thank you. And she sent some tags, which are so fun, and I have never seen these. Look at these metal tags, and they have like really good grommets in it, so they're real heavy duty. Very cool. I love them. And then some huge ones. This is going to be fun, Irene. Thank you. I love this kind of stuff because it's stuff that I can use. And then, oh, another bunny. And some more Rolodex cards that she cut for me. Thank you, Irene. I know that takes a lot of time. So sweet of you. And then, oh, and one more thing. Homemade enamel dots. Oh my goodness, look at all of these. Holy cow, I'm set. Thank you, Irene. That is so sweet of you. And then I also got a thank you from um, Candace. Candace is making all this ribbon for her mission. And I sent her a bunch of stuff for the mission, so she sent me some wash or um, seam binding that she dyed. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you, ladies. All right, now on to card 101. Maybe I'll get to use some of this. Let's see. All right, so I kind of got this planned out. I want. I have this burlap paper from Designs with a View. Then this is the some of that cord that was tied on all the gifts from Martina. I love this cord. It's so neat. It's really stiff. And then um, I was in flower swaps at your paper pantry and I haven't used any of my flowers. <laughs> and I love these. These were from Darlene Jacobs. So I want to use one of those on here. And I think the first thing I'm going to do, I haven't really used this Lindy's Magnolia Magenta Gold. So I want to try this. Now, this is that burlap paper, and I don't know why I bought it, because I have tons of burlap. And um, it, it's, it would be great for making cards, but I don't like the way it's, you know, not fraying. Real burlap, you know, when you just have the cloth, you have a nice fraying edge. So I'm going to try to rip this, see if I can take some of this paper off. So the good part is it makes it easy to glue. The bad part is it doesn't, you know, have that nice frayed, fuzzy edge like we're left supposed to have. Aren't these just oh, so pretty? I know I want to use this word inspire from Terry, but I, I've been fooling around with it and it just looks so stiff. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink a little texture back here, and this is some of the um, drywall tape that I got yesterday, and I'm just rubbing some black ink over it. And it's kind of nice because it 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 sticks, but you can peel it off easy enough. I like that. Oh, here comes the sun to pull the shade down. the shade down. Okay, I got an idea. Put this 
this back on here like this. This is still going to go like this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like a sunbeam, I think. I'm going to take some of this um, dyed seam binding from Candace and some ribbon that I have. I'm going to layer it on here. Okay, so I, this is the back of an old napkin. I cut out several of them. And I was trying different things, but it wasn't really working for me. But it, it needs, I need to edge it. So we'll see if I can get, get this tissue edged. So I want to do some doodling and not, I just want to do lines like this, I think. You know this isn't glued on, it hasn't dried yet. <laughs> okay, so Rolodex card 101, I made, I just, I thought I was done, but then I needed to add, I wanted to add some more ribbon, and this isn't quite dry, and I used some stickles, and then I had cut off the flower back here, and I really didn't like that, so I glued another one on the back of it, so it shows. Now, after it dries, I'll take a picture and let you see. Thanks for watching, and you all, here comes Sophie, and you all inspire me. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.